I bet you're wondering why I'm in bed. It's because today's Good and Five, we're tackling sleep. <laughs> so I'm excited because I've got tips and tricks that you can do in just five minutes before you lay your head down for a good night's sleep. First up is something to help you relax and get you into that snoozy mood. All right, check out this gadget. I haven't tried this yet. It's called the Renfo Eye Massager. And it's a device that you wear on your eyes for five minutes and it has massage modes, including the sleep mode. And it's supposed to reverse the effects of eye fatigue to relieve stress and help you sleep well. Two of our audience members, Anna and Brittany are also wearing one too. All right, let's see. Oh, whoa, oh, whoa. They, they're heated. Anna? Yep. <laughs> what do you think? Um, oh, it's interesting. <laughs> Brittany? I can't see anything. <laughs> but it's very nice. I'm not gonna lie, it's kinda hot and sexy. <laughs> I'm not kidding. I'm not getting relaxed, I'm getting totally stimulated. <laughs> Anna, Brittany, what's it doing for you guys? I honestly don't know. <laughs> um, well, after it's, I made it's it It's overwhelming awkward. a little bit. What? Yeah. I love it. It's like a warm cookie on your face. <laughs> <laughs> Did you say warm cookie? <laughs> I should also mention I'm hungry. <laughs> um, huh. Never felt a sensation like that. I think I just discovered a new erogenous zone. <laughs> Um, I'm excited. I want to bring in clinical psychologist, Dr. Shelby Harris, who specializes in behavioral sleep medicine. Hello. Thanks for having me. Um, have you ever tried that eye mask? I have not tried that myself. It looked like we had some very varied responses to it right here. I mean, whoa. <laughs> they seemed really different. Huh. Now, you say that achieving good sleep starts even before bedtime, enlighten me. So I always think about sleep as like an on, it's not an on off switch, it's more like a dimmer switch. So doing a wind down routine, ideally an hour, but most of us don't have an hour. So start with five minutes of relaxation. Whatever you find is quieting, just do it for five minutes, then move to 10 minutes and really try to set that stage. And the other thing I also would argue is that a good bedtime comes with a good morning time. So if you're consistent with the morning wake up time every day, you get bright light, you move, you have a big glass of water, that actually helps to set your bedtime so you fall asleep a little bit better as well. Now, how about books? Cause I tend to like that for me is the dimmer switch. I'll get off TV, I'll get off tech, I'll kind of lie in bed and stare, and then I'll put my glasses on and read. Yeah. Um, is that still a stimulation or is that okay of a transition? It really varies on the person, honestly. So reading, I think, is fantastic for a lot of people. It depends, some people find reading just too engrossing for them, but for most people, find something that you enjoy that passes the time and quiets your brain down. But also be careful what you're reading on, right? So are we reading on our little phones oh, or no, a never. tablet? Like Book. a lot of patients, good. I'm like a huge fan of go old school. Okay, our next tip is someone to follow that'll get you that great REM sleep. I want you to check out the couple who wants to help you relax. Haley and Grant's Sleep Granted ASMR YouTube channel. Haley and Grant post videos whispering bedtime stories so that you can lull into relaxation and peace. Dr. Shelby, yeah. why is everyone on the ASMR feeder? So ASMR is a fancy word, or it's a fancy letters for autonomous sensory meridian response. All that really means is that kind of tingly sensation that you get down mm -hmm. your spine, right? So you can get it from videos like that. Some people will get it from music. Other people, like I notice sometimes if my daughter's brushing my hair, you get that just kind of pleasurable relaxation feeling or a massage, anything like that. So although there isn't a lot of research on it for sleep, we do find that it activates parts of the brain that promote hormones and neurotransmitters that are relaxing, that induce sleep, and that are pleasure-inducing, like oxytocin, 
dopamine, serotonin, so it could, in theory, help for some people if you have the occasional bad night here and there. Well, finally, something good to do. Dr. Shelby, you have a breathing exercise that we can all do to quiet our mind. So we're talking about that dimmer switch earlier. Mm -hmm. What I always do myself is I always just do a quick three to five minute deep breathing exercise. And I think, and I'm gonna teach it all to you. And I think a lot of people when they do deep breathing, they're often breathing, ah, oh, there you go. They're I have breathing. it and I still forget to do it. There you go. So when you're learning at the beginning, a lot of people when they do deep breathing, they breathe through their chest, which can make them feel a little bit more stressed. So I have you put one hand on your chest and one hand on your belly and I encourage everyone to do that. So you take a deep breath in and you want this hand to move more and this should stay still. It's hard when you're standing, but ex inhale, Exhale, and then you just say relax. Inhale, exhale, relax. One, inhale, exhale, relax. Two, and you count up to 10 and back down to one. Very slowly, it's harder to breathe fast when you're doing it this way. It's easier when you're lying down, like I said. Um, well, before we go, let's check in on Anna and Brittany. Ladies, how do you feel? Um. I don't know. I don't think I would use it, but I get it. Right. <laughs> like, <laughs> that is totally how I feel. You summed it up perfectly. Brittany? I have the exact opposite um, feelings. I absolutely love this thing. It's like a warmth uh, towel massage to your face. Um, it's very relaxing. <laughs>